for this episode i want you to imagine that you went for a hunting trip in a dense forest with a couple of your best buddies at some point you need to take a detour and gather some supplies the surrounding temperature is freezing cold and you lost all the contact with your friends and lost in the woods what will be your reaction in this kind of situation please let me know in the comments before we head into our today's story if you are new to our channel please hit that red button and turn on all the notifications so that you will never miss any of our weekly uploads also there is a little easter egg a little play button hidden in the video if you find it comment it's time stamp so let's get back to the story the setting for this strange case is the rather ominously named the crazy mountains in the northern part of the rocky mountains of montana in united states where in september of 2014 a 38 year old elk hunter by the name of aaron joseph hedges was out on a hunting trip with friends greg litner and joe depew the trip started on september 3rd when the group headed out from the cottonwood lake trailhead along with two horses and a mule the men were in good spirits looking forward to their excursion and things were going smoothly as they headed towards a place called campfire lake but they hit an obstacle when their mule got spooked out and hedges sleeping bag was thrown over of the trail and lost it was an unfortunate turn of events but fortunately the group kept another hunting camp they had used the previous year and had loaded up with an emergency cache of extra supplies just in case they ever needed it among these supplies were extra sleeping bags and so on september 5th aaron decided to make a trek up that way towards a place called sunlight lake it wasn't a particularly formidable distance for the experienced outdoorsman and he had a walkie talkie cell phone and was armed with a firearm and a bow so no one thought much of it especially since he told his companions that he was just going to grab the supplies and would be back before nightfall little did they know as he stalked off up that trail into the trees it would be the last time anyone saw him alive night came and went with no sign of hedges and the next day he still did not turn up the group tried numerous times to call him on his walkie talkie but there was no response a look at the gps for the walkie talkie system showed that hedges had missed the fork in the trail that he was supposed to take to his destination and it labeled his position as being out at the very edge of the screen they waited around the area for several more days hoping that he would find his way back to them but there was no further word and aaron was finally reported missing on september 8th a search was mounted and although the effort was somewhat impeded by snow that had hit the area the surroundings were meticulously scoured using helicopters with infrared equipments horses and 20 tracker dog teams all of which turned up no sign at all of the missing hunter it was not until the second day of search that a clue was finally found by a creek just east of sunlight lake was found a spot where someone had attempted to start a fire using a pack of cigarettes and nearby were found the water bladder that hedges had been carrying the waist straps of his backpack and his shoes sat down neatly side by side as if they had been carefully removed and placed there oddly the site was found in an area the search teams had just combed the previous day without finding a thing and it was also considered puzzling that he would have taken his shoes off and just left them behind considering the plummeting temperatures and snow also unusual was that 
trackle dogs passing through were unable to pick up a scent for the missing man which was a bit hard to explain this was the only trace of hedges that would be found during the search efforts and it was as if he had just vanished into thin air but things would get even weirder still a full 9 months after the disappearance in june of 2015 a hiker by the name of roger veslanovic was staying with relatives at a place called the rain anchor ranch where he took a walk to the top of a nearby ridge and came across someone's outdoor gear including a backpack containing a cell phone an orange hunting vest bow clothes a hunting license and some scattered wrappers from energy bars bizarrely at the head of the ridge was also a thermos cup placed upon a rock along with an open energy drink nearby veslanovic would report that he had been sure there had to be a body somewhere but he could find none just those belongings eerily piled up against a tree when it was found through the hunting and driver's license in the pack that they had belonged to Aaron Hages the authorities jumped all over this new lead in their cold case but they could find no trace of any human remains it would not be until the following summer that remains would finally be discovered about a half mile from where the gear had been found which was a full 15 miles from where he had last seen and 6 miles from where his boots had been found meaning he had somehow traversed that snow swept wilderness without his boots all of the way along a route that had no major trails making it even weirder was that the area the remains were found in was within eyesight of the nearby ranch and right next to a frequently used road which would have meant safety but he had never managed to reach it how could this be he had obviously stopped to have something to drink on that ridge from which he would have been able to clearly see the house so why did he just stop strip down out of his clothes and die so close to safety the whole case is permitted by strange details the fork in the trail that hages was originally meant to take up to his destination was clearly visible and he was equipped with a gps system yet he had gone right by it he had then managed to set up a camp that evaded a complete search of the same area then taken his boots off in freezing weather and somehow managed to walk 6 miles over rough terrain of trail through snow which authorities see as highly unlikely as it would have been an incredible feat for even the most hardened survivalist indeed why had he taken his shoes off to begin with then there is the fact that dogs could not pick up his scent and all of this is punctuated by the rest of his belongings and his body plopped out there practically right on top of an inhabited ranch the cause of death could also not be determined as neither the skull nor any of the bones exhibited any sort of trauma indicating an injury of any kind what is going on here there have certainly been plenty of theories ranging from the plausible to the far out the official explanation is that he had probably had hypothermia and disorientation which had caused him to wander about aimlessly and display his odd behavior he may have even intentionally avoided search party teams and that ranch in order to cover the fact that he and his friends may have been seen hunting in off limits areas other theories are decidedly more fringe including the pervasive idea that he somehow passed into another dimension or through a portal what happened to aaron hages did he simply get lost and succumb to the stresses of the environment is this as the authorities say a case of hypothermia 
including psychosis if so then what are we to make of all of the weird clues or biting the whole thing or is this as some of the stranger theories have posted something altogether more bizarre and past our ability to really grasp just about the only thing we really do know about this weird case is that Aaron Hages disappeared without explanation his remains reappeared just as mysteriously and no one truly knows what exactly happened so if you also love to go hiking or hunting or just camping in the woods please let me know in the comments have you had any such bizarre experiences in the woods also i would love to hear about such places if you love to watch and hear such kind of mysterious and bizarre cases you can go through my playlist which contains a lot of such cases also if you are new to our channel please hit that red button and turn on all the notifications so that you will never miss any of our weekly uploads till then take care